Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today I'm reviewing one of the latest products from Dr. Beasley's and it is Bead Hero. So this is an SiO2 spray sealant. But wait a second, Pan, there are so many ceramic sprays out there. What's different with this one? Why would we get it? Well, there are a few secret tricks that it has up its sleeve and we're gonna talk about that. In particular, it is super hydrophobic, but wait a second, Pan, again, there are many products out there that are super hydrophobic that produce great water beads. Yes, but not the water beads like this one. We're gonna talk about why it's so special. Of course, you're gonna see it in a demo. I'm gonna give you all the tips and tricks on the application, and we're gonna talk about all the key features as well and what separates this from the rest of the pack. A quick disclaimer, I wanna thank Dr. Beasley's for sponsoring this video and making all of this possible. Uh, I visited them at the Car Supplies Warehouse uh, back in late March or late April at this point. Anyways, many months ago, and we had such a great time at that event, uh, but I had the opportunity to go visit their headquarters uh, at Dr. Beasley's and, uh, well, talk with Jim, the owner and chemist, because they make their own products in the USA. Uh, he's a great chemist, Jim, by the way. I also was able uh, to hang out with Chris Racana, the director of success over at Dr. Beasley's. We had a great time. Uh, I was with a few of my detailing buddies, including Rick from Rod Garage, who also uh, tested this product. There was Brian from Apex uh, detailing channel that tested this, absolutely loved it. So we're gonna talk about this product. Oh, by the way, don't worry guys, I'll leave the links to all the products, tools, and equipment in the description under the video for you guys to check those out. So as usual, all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So before we dive into the demo, let me go over the key features, what makes this so unique and so special. Uh, by the way, my 2023 Car Detailing Products Awards video uh, was released at this point now when you're watching this video a few weeks ago, so go check that out. Uh, Dr. Beasley's, uh, I started testing them in the past year and they took home a few awards. Uh, and this product, now that I'm testing this, if the awards were right now, it would probably rank in the top three, uh, perhaps even have taken its category uh, for the best silica spray sealant. Why? Well, for many reasons. First of all, as far as the features, the ease of application, guys, it is so easy to apply and we're gonna go over that in the demo, so stay tuned with me. The, uh, Next crazy thing, and probably its main feature for me, it is super hydrophobic. That means you're getting crazy water beads, right? However, water beads can be an issue if where you live, you have regular tap water to clean your car or you have hard water issues because the minerals left behind by those water beads, when those water beads are high and tight, well, they can leave high and tight water spotting so those minerals can etch through the clear coat if left unattended. What you do with those beads is what's important and Jim engineered this to be able to have a very low water sliding angle. That low water sliding angle means that the water droplet those water beads, it's almost as if they have legs. They wanna run off the panel, right? So they're flying off the panel at an extremely high rate, so you're getting very quick sheeting. So that is rare that you'll find that in products and for people who live in areas with hard water issues or don't have DI water to clean their car, this is a product that will help alleviate that because the water won't stay on the surface. It just wants to fly off the panels, so less chances of getting water spots. What does self-cleaning actually mean in the case of Bead Hero? Well, be because those water beads are very quick to want to sheet off the vehicle and be basically the beads have legs, right? They just want to fly off or walk off the paint. That means that it's going to take all the dirt, debris, and contaminants that are loose from the surface, encapsulate those, and just fly off with it. So that's how the car stays cleaner for longer. And it also, of course, makes your car a lot easier to wash during your maintenance washes because things have a lot less of a tendency to stick to it. This mechanically bonds to the clear coat on the paint if you're using it as a standalone paint protectant, or the majority of the people out there, I'm sure will be using this as a maintenance topper over existing protection. So it's gonna create kind of that mechanical bond. So it's not just staying on top of that surface. It kind of crosslinks or mechanically bonds very tightly on top. And because, well, dirt, imagine this weave, there you go. You see how tight that is? Well, dirt can't penetrate that tight weave. It sits on top. So that's 
that's why when it either rains or you're rinsing your car off, even with just a pressure washer, those water molecules take that loose dirt and debris that sits on top and just take it off of the paintwork so the car has those self-cleaning properties. So that is very, very awesome with this. Also, well, people are gonna ask, can you apply this on ceramic coatings, on graphene coatings? This is a universal topper. So you can apply it on top of any ceramic coating, graphene coating, on top of existing waxes, paint sealants, whatever you guys have, this works well with it. By the way, look at that label. It's this matte appearance, always a premium look. It's gonna give you also uh, extreme gloss. Some of the best that I have seen from SiO2 spray sealants. Why will I ask Jim? Why do I seem like when I apply it, it has this kind of candy-like appearance that some of my favorite ones also give? Well, that's because he added optic ingredients out there that magnify the gloss that's gonna give you that pop uh, and it has SiO2 in there. Yes, it does provide UV protection. I confirmed it with Jim, so that's very important. Uh, what about the durability? Durability depends on the prep, the application, the conditions or weather where you live, the mileage you do with your vehicle yearly. Uh, is it a garage kept vehicle? or a daily driver that sits outside in the elements all time, what type of maintenance you do, right? So all those are variables. So in the best of conditions, if you do proper protection, uh, you do proper application, you do proper prep, you do great maintenance. If the, if the vehicle has low mileage, it's usually garage kept. In the best case scenario, th this could last, according to Dr. Beasley's, up to a year. But in general, you're going to get at least many weeks to many months of protection. Again, depending on all those factors, you know I'll be looking at this uh, long term and I'll be reporting back to see in my conditions how long this lasts. But let me know, what's the durability been like? for you guys who have tested Bead Hero, drop a comment in the comment section under the video. So the vehicle we have today is a Honda HRV 2023 edition. The vehicle has never been protected. Uh, the owner wanted something very simple. So what we're gonna do is also use very simple steps, nothing complicated, so you guys can also duplicate this at home. So every detail starts with a proper wash. Wash the vehicle, I like to pre-wash with a snow foam. In this case, I used a higher alkaline snow foam to make sure I'm removing any traffic film and any grime that's accumulated out there and then did a contact wash with a slightly acidic uh, shampoo to again remove potentially any cheap wax that might have been applied by the car dealership uh, and any other grime or potentially any water spot deposits that might be on the paintwork basically a decon wash and then uh, in an ideal situation, you would use an iron remover to remove any embedded brake dust that's in the clear coat. Uh, then feel your paint, right? If it feels smooth like glass, you can skip the clay bar stage, but if it feels very rough and has a lot of contamination, I highly recommend that you use a lubricating agent along with uh, a clay bar, clay mitt, clay towel, whatever clay media you guys use to remove from, uh, further of that embedded contamination, or perhaps you have paint overspray. Who knows what's in there? You wanna get the paint as glass smooth as possible. Then it's up to you to uh, decide if you your paint needs machine polishing. So if you have some light swirls, scratches, if it has oxidation, you wanna improve the gloss by flattening the paint and having better light reflection. That's the best way to improve the gloss, by the way, is through machine polishing or paint correction. Well, remove all those defects, blemishes, marring, all that kind of stuff uh, through your polishing stages. And that way you're gonna have prepped the surface perfectly. Also make sure you remove those polishing oils uh, with a paint prep spray or a panel prep spray uh, to remove those polishing oils and those polished residues. So then then you should be left with a squeaky clean surface ready to receive the protection. So in this case, you can decide if you already have some protection and the paint's in good condition, you could just wash the vehicle and then uh, when you're done, uh, you just dry it if you want. So you can use a um, blow dryer, a car dryer, or a, um, a leaf blower if you want. Um, doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be 100% dry because this can also be applied, by the way, on wet paint. It's just gonna have a, a bit less durability or performance. So ideally, you apply this on dry paint uh, or use a microfiber drying towel to dry the paint. Get it as dry as you can, but don't overthink it because we're gonna use this as a quick detailer style, meaning it's gonna pick up any residual uh, droplets of water that's on there all while you're applying that protection. So what do you do for the application? Super simple. First, always shake your chemicals well. It's very important, especially with this one. Follow the instructions, by the way, on the labels. Chemists take great time and pride to come up with detailed instructions so you can have the best user experience. Again, do not work in direct sunlight. Always work in the shade or and on a cool surface. And then to apply this, well, it's as easy as one or two sprays per panel, and that's it. So on your larger panels, perhaps two light mists, and on smaller panels, one mist is more than enough. Believe me, 
less is better. So I spoke to Chris Ricana over at Dr. Beasley's and he speaks with his detailers and they discovered initially they were over applying this. So if you don't want to get into streaking issues, reduce the amount. Less is more in the case of Bead Hero and it's very economical because for a full vehicle like the HRV, which is a small car, but still I used uh, a lot less than an ounce. I mean, if we look at the bottle here, the level is still up there. So it's still almost like when it was new. I don't know if you can see that. You can see that shaking around. So I barely used half an ounce, less than an ounce for sure. So this comes up to like two or three US dollars per application for an entire vehicle. And you pro likely can do five, six, 10, 12 cars, depending on the size of the vehicle. So this bottle goes a long way. They also have a gallon size for those pro detailers out there who want to have bigger quantities. Uh, again, I'll leave links in the description under the video. So uh, yeah, and you use a simple microfiber towel. One towel is all you need. So one or two light mists on the panel, and then you take your towel, you're gonna wipe that that onto the surface. So work it into the paint very gently, no pressure needed. So you can do it uh, in circles if you want or an up and down left to right cross hatch pattern, whatever you guys want. Just make sure you have proper coverage and then you flip the towel to the clean and dry side for a light buff and you're going to get a streak free finish in just a matter of minutes. This HRV, I did the entire vehicle in under 15 minutes guys and I was taking my time listening to some tunes, enjoying my life, right? And so that's how easy it is. So uh, one or two sprays and uh, that is, that's all uh, there is to it. So for the, especially the first application on for the base layer, you want to apply this on dry paint. Uh, but in the future, know that you can use this on wet paint as a drying aid. You're just going to diminish the performance and durability a bit. So if you want the best performance, the longest durability, apply on dry. So we also decided to apply the protection to the glass surfaces. So the windshield and all the, gra the glass around the vehicle. Uh, we also applied it to the uh, headlights and and tail lights because those tend to yellow and oxidize over time if they don't have that extra UV protection on there. We also applied it to the plastic trim around the vehicle and also to the wheels to make the wheels a lot easier to clean during the maintenance washes and they're going to look cleaner for longer. Now other important things with this, you're going to let it cure on the paint. So you're going to leave the paint untouched for at least one, uh, you're going to leave the paint, sorry, untouched for two hours after the application. This needs to cure. So no contact with any water or rain. Ideally, you want to let it sit overnight. So 24 hours of curing for an even better performance. And note that this, just like a ceramic coating, will continue to cure in the following weeks. So gloss, although it looks amazing when you're done, it's going to keep increasing over the coming weeks. It's going to keep on hardening as well. So it's highly recommended from Dr. Beasley's, do not wash your car for one to two weeks after you've applied this. Ideally, do not wash the vehicle for the full two weeks, just like a traditional ceramic coating. This has true SiO2 in there. This is some pretty intense stuff. Uh, and you're going to get that great uh, gloss. You're going to get that great slickness as well, which by the way, the slickness not only feels good to the touch, right? But it also helps to prevent that light marring you get when you're doing a contact wash with your wash mitt or when you're drying your car with the microfiber drying towel. Anything that helps um, the materials glide over the surface with more ease will help prevent all that marring. So this definitely does that. Again, great slickness, great gloss. Let's have a look uh, at the end results, guys. The paint really, and you know how hard it is for lighter colored paints like whites and silvers and grays. Look how awesome this looks. You can shave yourself off the mirrors. The paint looks dripping wet. Um, in the sunlight, you can tell you're getting more of that metallic pop from that metallic finish uh, in the paint. And it just looks absolutely stunning. It brought that gloss. It brought that slickness. It's going to also be protected for a long time against the UVs, against the elements, those crazy, crazy self-cleaning properties. Again, that those nice round water beads, however, they're going to fly off. To prove my point, let's have a look now at the hydrophobic properties after we've allowed the uh, paintwork to cure for roughly two to three hours after we've applied this. So initially, you can see... Uh, on the hood, the water was very, very slow to sheet off. And uh, it was, yeah, it's just pooling up, no water beads whatsoever. And now if you look at the after protection, look at those water beads. So very round, very tight. And you can tell that low water sliding angle means that the water just wants to fall off or fly off the panels so quickly. You get that super, super quick water sheeting. The same for the side panels. Look at the uh, how the water behavior was before we applied the protection. So again, just a sheet of water that's slow to pool 
blow out the, the, the sheet off. It's just one flat sheet, no water beads. And after we applied the protection, look at that water just fly off. You're getting those crazy hydrophobic properties. It's super hydrophobic. And uh, again, that um, water just sheets off at a very, very high rate, again, due to that water sliding angle. We also applied it to the windshield. So before the protection, once again, just a flat pane of water, very slow to sheet off uh, on the windshield. And after the protection, look again, super tight, super round water beads. The water evacuates or flies off very, very quickly, thus increasing your security when you're driving uh, in inclement weather, like a rainy condition, because the water just flies off the glass. So you're getting better clarity when you're driving in those types of conditions. So uh, yeah, overall, what a crazy performance. So that's really something that stuck to me. The gloss, the slickness, the ease of application, and the super hydrophobic properties with that low sliding angle for the water that the water just sheets off at a quick rate. Those are great, great stands off, uh, standoffs, uh, standouts for the properties. And of course, you get that UV protection, you get that chemical resistance as well, and all the cool attributes from an SiO2 spray sealant. So uh, this one here, Bead Hero, gets a major, major thumbs up and a approval from Pan the Organizer. Uh, I'll leave the links, by the way, to all the products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. I know some of you out there say, well, Pan, I have a matte finish paint or I have a satin finish paint or I have a matte PPF or a matte vinyl wrap. Uh, what do I do if I want those properties? Well, they got you covered because get what? Yep, they came out with the Matte Bead Hero. So it is the exact same product as the regular Bead Hero, except it does not have the gloss enhancers or the glossy aspect like the regular Bead Hero for the glossy surfaces, right? So you're gonna get that same crazy hydrophobic performance, the UV protection, the ease of application, the, uh, the slickness and all that stuff, but you're not gonna get that glossy surface. So again, matte Bead Hero, the same properties, but for matte, uh, surfaces for matte paints, for matte PPF, matte, matte vinyl wrap, or all the satin surfaces as well. And yes, you can apply Bead Hero to PPF, uh, the glossy PPF and the glossy uh, vinyl wraps as well. Absolutely no problem. Uh, again, I want to thank Dr. Beasley's for sponsoring this video, making all of this possible. Uh, Jim and of course, Chris Ricana and all the team, they work super hard. They're very proud of what they produce. These are made in the USA. Uh, they uh, make their own products by the way, so they formulate their own chemistry. I visited the lab. I even did in a in my tour video of Dr. Beasley's headquarters. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. Uh, we did a uh, product for Pan the Organizer with uh, Jim himself, so the owner and chemist. He was kind enough to show me through the ropes of how he actually blends these these products together, so that was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we'll have more stuff coming soon. So I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Smash the thumbs up button to show me your support. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll I'll see you on the next one.